guys, quick little fun intro. I just picked these delicious brownies and it took 52 minutes to make because I made them really thick. And I figured I would do like a homeschool supplies organization video. I'm doing the organization anyway, so I just figured I would videotape myself. I haven't done a video in a while because I've been sick, you guys. And I just figured why not follow me tonight while I am waiting for my brownies to be baked and you could watch how I organize my supplies and maybe give you a little bit of encouragement to organize a space in your homeschool room for 10-15 minutes and it makes your day extra special. So I'm going to enjoy these suckers a little bit later. I have 300 calories left for the day so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys will get motivated to organize tomorrow when you watch this video. This is like the best um, solution. So this is like a perfect thing. So I have this already. on top so ah. these are just craft things that I got in the past from like my daughter's third birthday. Oh I just found these these are from the Dollar Tree. These tissue papers are awesome guys. So I organized this, I dumped everything out as you can see in the video, and in this section here I have my scissors and the kids scissors. Um, these are really good scissors I got from the Dollar Tree for my daughter, that's four. These are um, from Michael's and they have, they're just plastic, and these are good for my two year old son. He cuts Play-Doh with these, so this is perfect for him. He wants to do everything his sister's doing. This is my pair of scissors. we will have a pair of scissors, how cute. And then this is the painting section. I just leave this in here because we, my daughter likes to paint, so um, 
And then these are the Melissa and Doug paints that I, or paintbrushes I like, that we just started using. This is glue and the glue sticks and tape, because we use tape and glue all the time. They're dry erase markers and all of my pens that I use for planning, like my gel pens and my cute little fancy pens. And then the highlighters, my chalk marker, just things that I use. And then since my daughter can reach up at the counter now since she's getting tall, I'm going to take all these Sharpies and I'm going to put them upstairs in my desk. And then I'm going to put this Mod Podge away in my desk. And then these are all of like the extra things that I got from like any school supplies from the Dollar Tree or Target when they had the back to school sale. So I will have crayons and markers probably for the next year or two. We don't go through them that fast. So um, my kids like to color, but she's more of like a painter, I guess. And we use a lot of um, pencils and pens. So yeah, so we, um, this will declutter the area. I'll show you guys real quickly. We have, this is our little homeschool, like, not really homeschool. It's just an area where I put all of their um, just fun stuff. The Legos, um, these are classic Legos I got for my husband for his birthday and they, he plays them with the kids like once in a while as a treat because they have the bigger ones and they're very small pieces for my two year old. This is just all my like Play-Doh stuff for the kids. So I have this little crate that I got from the Dollar Tree. This is like the paint sets that we mixed that I showed you guys I organized. All of our little like craft things in here and then all like everything that I organized like our crayons and our colored pencils and our thin markers and our chalkboard with our chalk. So that's what it looks like you guys right now. So it's a little more organized and I could actually like pull things out without having to get frustrated. So that's what it looks like you guys. I hope you guys like this little homeschool supplies organization video. It only took a little bit of time and I was going to do it and I figured why not videotape it and just encourage people to organize their supplies. I know I don't organize my supplies that often. And when I do, it's just nice because when you want to find something, you get to it a lot easier. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to Mama Schmooze Reviews.